What's up guys, Jay? More than Kill, And it's no secret around here that I'm sponsored by CyberPower PC. I mean, outside of all the CyberPower branding and logos you see on my social media, I've always prided myself on being 100% transparent with you guys about the products I use and the companies that I'm affiliated with. Even though I've had multiple powerhouse PCs built by CyberPower over the years, technology progresses, needs further, and suddenly what was once considered top of the line, sadly, no longer gets the job done that the technology necessitates. We've gone from an i5 16 gigabytes of RAM dual 7950s gaming PC to an i7 32 gigabytes of RAM Titan PC and eventually ended up with an amazing build in collaborative effort by Corsair and CyberPower to supply me with an i7 4770K 32 gigabytes of RAM and Titan X gaming PC. All of which are still in fantastic shape and work in order today. But... Ever since I made the switch over from part-time YouTuber to full-time streamer, I found myself in need of some more processing power. And while I'm still quite attached to this baby, I've simply outgrown it. So today, I'd like to invite you back into my man cave to not only show you my newly updated setup, but also to give you guys a quick look and rundown at this badass workhorse PC built by CyberPower back in an i7 6950X 10 core processor. God damn. And that's riding on an MSI X99 Tomahawk motherboard with 32 gigabytes of Patriot Elite DDR4 3000 megahertz RAM and an MSI GTX 1080 video card giving me everything I need to run my stream at a crisp 60 frames per second but still being able to record in the lossless quality that you know that I upload my YouTube videos in. This is all stuffed into this tiny Corsair 450 case with a Corsair H110i 280mm liquid cooling. And normally I go for a larger case. And as you can see, the difference between my 900D Corsair case to Goliath of a case from my previous Cyber Power PC to my current Corsair 450 case. But if you take a look at the light that you can see shining through here, you know, the, the straight through airflow design, coupled with the larger liquid cooling compatibility in a small form factor, makes a pretty unique case with a nice, clean, and classic design that fits my aesthetic the more I get older. You know, as you can see from my first two cyber powers, my tastes have changed a little bit over the years from a more flashy, in-your-face edgy design to a more understated classy grown-up form factor which when you couple that with my setups glass desk and black glossy finish among all the accoutrement that you see here it fits my room my tastes and my setup just a little bit more than these old girls here so my name is jay more than an after kill i want to thank you guys for watching make sure you guys read comment subscribe if you leave thumbs up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch it. My motherfucking videos. I do want to say thank you to not just CyberPower, but all of you guys that watch my videos, come to my stream, even people that just support me via social media. Because, you know, I, I know that there's a lot of expensive technology being shown off here in my man cave today. But I, I want you guys to know that I wouldn't have any of it if it wasn't for all of you guys and your continued support over the years. And I never once in my life thought that any of this would be possible. What, what, what I'm showing off here or on my channel, you know? If, if it wasn't for the combined effort of you guys and CyberPower believing in me all these years, 
this wouldn't be possible at all. So once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. My name's Jay. We're in the Afterkill. I want to see y'all motherfuckers later.